Okay. Now we're starting a new phase of the game. Chapter 4-1. And this is the chapter where if you speed run it off, it'll get you the richest quake because there's a lot of treasures. So this is the place he was talking about. And I'll come back after the cutscene. That's the boat the woman used to get away. So, you two are really going to go through with this? Yes. This is not just about Jill, but the Uroboros project as well. I guess there's nothing I can do to stop you. I will call HQ and try to get the withdrawal order rescinded. I will also try to get you back up. Try not to get yourselves killed. That name Irving said, Excella. You heard it before? Alright, now starting off, there's already some treasures right off the bat inside the lanterns. You just gotta knife them. And the treasure will fall out. Try so. They give you a lot of ammo around here, too. What does that mean for Africa? Not sure. But if we keep going, we're bound to find out. True. Let's move. So just keep making your way down this path. Now coming into this chapter, you wanna have some flash grenades, so if you don't have any, buy some. And towards the end of this chapter, you get the grenade launcher, and you can get flash rounds for that, because these guys die with flash grenades, so just run past that first group. You can generally run past the second group almost. Now, we don't get every treasure in this level, so but we get a lot, so that gives you an idea of how much money you can make. treasure in that lantern. There's just so many treasures in this level, it's ridiculous. So this group, he throws a flash grenade at him, and you can see they all just die in one shot. And another group of them pop up over here, I believe. No, they don't. Whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, they do. See, I know! I know! So just throw another flash grenade at them. And most of this level turns into a maze. The second half of this level turns into like an Indiana Jones type level. Or Tomb Raider or something. So you just gonna get through this door at teamwork. Which I don't see the point of. Shava! I don't know what the hell we were doing here. I think we were trying to pick up that ammo. Yeah, there's rifle ammo on the ground for me. So just make your way through this door. And watch this cutscene. I never knew such a place existed here. It looks like there's been some recent activity. I hope Irving was telling the truth when he said we'd find answers in this place. This is one of the more tricky parts of the level, because you gotta s actually split up and knife the spider off the wall as he explodes into a big pile of green goo. And in this coffin right here, you get a shit load of money. It is awesome. Okay, 
paying your bills. Alright, there's another treasure in that one. This is still getting scared by condemned. Alright, now this is where you split up. Once you go at on the bridge, like two steps into it, you activate this little cutscene. So try to have, like, s each of you try to have some hand grenades. Because you're definitely gonna need them. And now, Shiva is gonna have to drop down. And Chris doesn't really have to fight anyone up here. But once Chris gets up here, start throwing some grenades down. And start taking out some of the guys that rush Shiva. And there's a few guys in that room that only trigger once you get up there. So don't throw any grenades in there until you get over there because you're wasting your grenades. Now start sniping out the crossbow guys. Because they'll take Shava out too. And there's some people coming from in front and behind of her, so watch out. I shot that guy in the nuts and his head popped off, which means he's always scripted for his head to pop off. No matter where you shoot him. Pop that giant pimple on his head. Right now, even I can see him here. But they're not triggered yet, so the grenade did no damage. So you actually gotta physically run up here and throw the grenade. Which gets a little close, which is why I was trying to do it before. And there's still another guy that almost took care of me. Now in this coffin, there's still more treasure. But in the coffin that was near where I was standing, it... It's a trap that leads you to the next part of the level, so until you're ready to go, don't touch that coffin. So just run around and pick up all the treasure you can. Who is calling me? Go home. Hello? Now we get the coffin open and get all our treasures. It's the same thing as before, just a bunch of large golds. So if you put this game on like very easy and just start speedrunning this level, you'll be freaking rich in no time. Alright, this guy you gotta examine to get his treasure. I don't know why. There's also a treasure in the little, uh, I don't know, lantern at the bottom again. Are they even lanterns? Come on! Alright, now once you move this coffin... You have the little push button sequence to land, so don't miss that. You probably break your neck. Then down here, you are trapped in like a four-way cross type thing. So run all the way down to one end and just try to hold yourself off. If you got grenades, now is the time to use them. Granada. Flash grenades will take care of these guys. And now you're just gonna make your way outside. After you clear out these guys, and you're on to the next Indiana Jones park. 